I pray that you're doing well today and that the Spirit of God is nudging you to engage the mind of God. Our scripture readings today come from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 3, verses 13 to 17. Then Jesus came from Galilee to John at the Jordan to be baptized by him. John would have prevented him, saying, I need to be baptized by you, and do you come to me? But Jesus answered, Let it be so now. For it is proper for us in this way to fulfill all righteousness. Then he consented. And when Jesus had been baptized, just as he came up from the water, suddenly the heavens were opened to him and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting on him. And a voice from heaven said, this is my son, the beloved, with whom I am well pleased. The Old Testament reading is from Isaiah chapter 42, the first nine verses. I'm not going to read all of it here today. But it begins by saying, Here is my ser servant, whom I uphold, my chosen, in whom my soul delights. I have put my spirit upon him. He will bring forth justice to the nations. And then it goes on to say, I have taken you by the hand and kept you. I have given you as a covenant to the people, a light to the nations, to open the eyes that are blind, to bring out the prisoners from the dungeon, from the prison, those who sit in darkness. I am the Lord. That is my name. My glory I give to no other, nor my praise to idols. See, the former things have come to pass, and new things I now declare before they spring forth. I tell you of them. And then the uh, New Testament reading today is from Acts chapter 10, verses 34 to 43. And uh, it's, a, it's a, Peter is speaking and he says, I truly understand that God knows no partiality, but in every nation, anyone who fears him and does what it is right is acceptable to him. You know the message he sent to the people of Israel preaching peace by Jesus Christ. He is Lord of all. And then he talks about Jesus's uh, baptism and uh, then he ends it by saying all the prophets testify about him that everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sins through his name so when I read these scripture texts appointed for this coming Sunday the question that I have in my mind is to explore what does it mean to be called? Because here is a very public uh, event where Jesus is there, he's being baptized, and uh, the uh, voice from heaven is saying, this is my son, the beloved with whom I am well pleased. It's a very public event. It's a very public uh, call to ministry and actually a confirmation to of, of uh, Jesus' call to ministry. So the question I have for exploration is, what does it mean to have a calling? Um, there's a word ordain also used in one of the uh, texts for today um, and so so what does it mean to be called to be ordained with with a, with a certain task what does it mean i hope to see you this sunday at either 8 a.m. or 10 a.m. worship service at St. Paul's on the Huntington Green in Shelton. Or if you are unable to join us 
in person, um, please do join us on Facebook because we will be streaming our 10 a.m. worship service live. Hope to see you then. God be with you.